Hi, beautiful. I'm Cassidy. I'm so happy that you're here taking time to stretch with me. I've got some standing stretches for your calves and your feet. In my 20 plus years of teaching Pilates, I believe the feet are the most neglected part of the body when it comes to stretching. And they are the most important part of the body to stretch. They are your anchor point with the ground. The better that you can move through your feet, the better you can move in your entire body. That is the start of your kinetic chain. No joke. Trust me, you want to do these stretches. This is ideal for beginners. Let's get to it. All right, so for the toes and feet, first thing, you're just gonna lift up the heel, keeping your toes on the mat. You're gonna have your knee going over your middle toes, and you just wanna shift your weight over your toes a little bit, and you are going to feel that burn. And that's normal, that's the fascia stretching. You wanna feel that sensation. The fascia is the tissue that surrounds your muscles. And when the fascia gets tight, it constricts your muscles, and it doesn't allow your muscles to move optimally. So it's really good to stretch the fascia. And that's why you get that kind of burning sensation. And then from there, you're gonna curl your toes under. So you're stretching the front of the toes, the front of the foot. And again, just very gently reaching the knee over the foot. Oh yeah, you're gonna feel that stretch. Woo wee. Wow, that's intense. And then you could come back onto the toes. And I do this every day. <laughs> That's how tight your feet get. Your feet get so tight, you gotta stretch them every day. And again, curling the toes under. <sighs> yeah, wow, it already feels so much better than the first time I did it. <laughs> it's a good stretch. So you can switch back and forth between those two. Do as many sets as feels right and safe for you. This is a very important stretch to do. Don't skip it. If you can only do one stretch a day, stretch your toes and your feet. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, so heel comes up, reaching your knee slightly over the toes, checking that your knee is in line with your second and third toes. You're gonna feel that burn, that's normal. That's the fascia stretching. And then switching, curling the toes under. Again, just very gently reaching that knee over the foot. Woo, you're gonna feel that stretch. I feel it, oh my goodness. And then switching back. So you're gonna alternate between the two. One way may feel tighter than the other. That's common. You wanna stretch longer for your tighter position, whatever that may be for you. Woo, I definitely feel like this foot is tighter than the other one. So I may give a little bit more attention to this side. It may be different for you, that's fine. And I definitely feel like curling the toes under is tighter, so I wanna spend a little bit more time here. But you wanna decide for yourself what area of the foot needs more of your attention. Oh yeah, I can feel it opening now. It's not as uncomfortable. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> And that's it. That is one of the most important stretches that you can do for your entire body. Okay, you're gonna go into the calf stretch, hands up on the wall, bringing your foot back as far as you can, keeping your entire foot on the ground, especially your heel. You wanna decide for yourself what distance feels right for you. The further back the foot is, the more intense the stretch will be. You do wanna feel like you're really anchored in that back foot. And then bending that front leg as you're reaching down into the heel of the back foot, hopefully you feel it all along the calf from the ankle to the back of the knee. Just relax into your upper body. Make sure that you're breathing and not clenching your teeth. Just gently trying to deepen into the stretch by bending that front knee a little bit more, but always checking that your back heel is anchored on the mat. You wanna be here 15 to 30 seconds, whatever feels good for you, and then switching sides when you're ready. You may notice that one side feels tighter than the other. If that's true for you, you wanna stretch longer for your tighter side. Again, just really anchoring down into your feet, softening your upper body, gently trying to increase the stretch with each breath to feel like a good stretch. You do wanna make sure that the back foot is aligned with your knee and your hip so that you're not creating uneven 
even tension. Nicely done. Excellent. All right, you did it. Give yourself some props. Stretching out your feet is vital for the overall health of your body. You did so good giving your feet that attention. I love it. If you have any questions about these stretches or you're looking for some modifications, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to help you. So FYI, this is just one piece of the bigger picture. You can access the full stretching series in the description below or possibly at the end of the video. It may feel very satisfying to do the whole stretching routine or you can benefit from doing the stretches you haven't done yet. It'll be waiting for you whenever you're ready and I will meet you there. See you soon. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content, and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible.